Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel, the place where we break down tech and cyber concepts to make your life a little easier. If you're in IT, cybersecurity, or just a tech enthusiast, you've probably come across terms like hub, switch, and router. They're thrown around a lot, but what's the difference? Why should you care? Well, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how these devices work and when you should use each one. Let's dive in. All right, first up, the hub. Now, hubs are kind of the OG when it comes to networking. You can think of a hub as a super basic device that connects a bunch of devices together on a network. But here's the kicker. Hubs don't really know what they're doing. They're basically like someone shouting in a crowded room, hoping the right person hears. When you send data through a hub, it goes out to every single device on the network, whether they need it or not. So let's say you're sending a message to your friend in the next room. If you're using a hub, that message is going to go to everyone else in the house too. This makes hubs, well, a bit noisy. It also makes them slow and less secure since every connected device sees all the data. So a hub is great for small, simple setups, but not ideal for performance or privacy. Think of it as the loud and clueless friend of the networking world. Next, let's talk switches. Imagine the switch as the smarter, more organized sibling of the hub. Switches look at the data being sent and know exactly where it needs to go. So, if you want to send that message to your friend, the switch makes sure it only reaches your friend and not the whole network. Switches work with MAC addresses, which are like unique IDs for each device on a network. By learning these MAC addresses, switches can route data only where it needs to go, saving bandwidth and making the whole process faster and more secure. Quick tip. Switches are great for local networks, like in an office or a small business, where you want efficient communication within the network, but don't need to connect to outside networks. In simple terms, if the hub is the noisy, clueless friend, the switch is more like the quiet, organized one who knows exactly where to put things. All right, now we're on to the big player, the router. If hubs and switches connect devices within the same network, routers are what connect different networks together. They're like the gateway between your local network and the rest of the internet. Routers work with IP addresses, which are like street addresses for devices. When you want to access a website, your router decides where that request needs to go and sends it out into the vast world of the internet to bring back exactly what you asked for. Ever wondered why your router has a firewall? Since it's the bridge between you and the outside world, it also plays a major role in security, filtering out unwanted traffic and protecting your network from threats. So, if the hub is the loud friend, the switch is the organized one. Then the router is like the bouncer, deciding who gets in, who stays out, and keeping everything safe. All right, let's wrap this up with a quick recap. Hub. Simple and sends data everywhere. Great for very small basic networks. Switch. Smarter. Routes data only to the right device within the same network. Perfect for local network setups. Router connects different networks, like your local network to the internet, and adds that all-important layer of security. Now you know the difference between hubs, switches, and routers, and why each one matters in networking and cybersecurity. So, next time someone brings up these terms, you'll know exactly what they're talking about and which device to pick for your setup. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe to stay connected for upcoming contents. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.